Hello everyone, it's Mark with Launchpad B again today, and I'm doing another tutorial on lighting. Last week I posted a video about a lighting hack using a spotlight with a 150 watt bulb and putting it behind a sheet, hanging it over a piece of uh, wood or something and creating a diffuser. Now I know that you guys probably don't have this laying around the house, so today's video will be using two lamps, just the regular lamps you have sitting around, probably in your living room already. The video is a proof of concept to show that it can be done using regular lighting. Now I'm a little bit orange because the lights that I'm using are CFL light bulbs. Um, I don't have any control over the color temperature, uh, but as you can tell, you can still get some very good lighting with very simple means. Okay, so for the challenge, we are shooting in my living room. This is what it looks like in a professional grade camera. Now I had to go into the camera and kind of amp up the lighting because it's so dark in here. We got a lot of light that's coming in from the windows, which is good. Uh, and then I've got the overhead light on to provide some additional light, but it's not ideal lighting for a talking headshot. Uh, and this is what it looks like from a cell phone. It's a little bit closer to me. Uh, this is a entry level Motorola phone. It's got a basic camera. I figured for this challenge, I would use a basic camera so that if your camera's even better, then you probably would get better results. But the first thing we need to do is we're gonna turn off the overhead light. With that light out of the way, we can now start setting up the other lighting we're gonna use. The reason I'm choosing a chair is because the couches that we have are so massive and dark that they're gonna suck up a lot of the light and suck up a lot of the shot. So we're gonna use a chair because it's a lot smaller and less visible and it lets a lot more of the background show through. The lighting that we're using today is this. Two regular lamps, nothing fancy, regular light bulbs on the inside. Since most of the light's coming in from the window, we're not gonna compete with that. So I'm gonna place the first lamp right here. And when I set up the shot, I want the lamp to be as close to me as possible, but not in the actual shot. And the reason I'm putting it next to me is the goal is to place the lamp at 45 degrees to my face. What that's gonna do is it's gonna allow the shadows to create a contour. It's a little bit more flattering than had I just put the lamp directly in front of me. Also, if I put the lamp in front of me, it's gonna be in the way of the camera. So this is what the lighting looks like with just one lamp. It's over here, right there. Uh, and it's already looking pretty good. Um, and if we wanna add some more definition to the room, we can move lights around and set them up in other spots. Uh, I also like to put a light on the opposite side of the first lamp and it kind of creates a, a, a highlight onto my shoulder. It kind of helps pull me away from the background. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So this lamp is directly opposite from me right now. Now the difference is very subtle. You can't really tell there's a light over here, uh, but it does kind of define the edge of my shoulder a little bit more and it keeps me from blending into the background. Uh, this is gonna be especially helpful if you're wearing dark colored clothing or if you've got dark hair and you wanna define the edge of the hair. Sometimes it's referred to as a hair light. Now this is what the shot looks like on a cell phone. Now I had to push this further away, probably not as good in frame as I should be, uh, but it can also be done. Now it's a little bit more subtle on the, on the cell phone, um, you can manipulate the settings on the phone to kind of amp up the light, make it a little bit more sensitive if you need to, but this is a cell phone shot in stock, straight out of the box. So I hope that this video has been beneficial to you. I encourage you to try these lighting tricks in your own home so that the next time you post a talking head video, whether it's on LinkedIn or any other platform, you take this into consideration and it'll really help your videos pop.